It's William Shakespeare. The brilliant thing about William Shakespeare is that he's the most famous person in the world that no one knows anything about. We catch him at the very beginnings of his discovery of his talent. He leaves three kids and his wife go to big, bad London and try and make it in the punk rock world of Elizabethan theatre. Who are you? No one. Yeah. Alice is a very powerful woman. She doesn't fall into the stereotypical womanly role. That's why her and Will come together, because they're very much trailblazers in their own way. I do need you to be by my side when I make our theatre great again. London was going through a renaissance of the arts. It was the centre of the world. It was a world where people had to live for today. The challenge is to use the 16th century and the characters of the 16th century to tell a story about our contemporary lives. Along with that comes incredible production design, magnificent costumes, makeup, hair. It's about the choice of fabrics, the use of embroidery and embellishment that gives it a more contemporary, high fashion, edgy look. <laughs> the will we see in the show is a revolutionary. He was a rock star, he was a rapper, he was writing for the masses. Ready for the slaughter. Sharpen thy wit, butcher. No! There is an incredible power in words, in the way that there's an incredible power in Jay-Z's words or John Lennon's words. Ready and action. Whether fine-feathered or the most common of birds, all we need are words. Really surprising, passionate, wild, fresh. Exciting. The trouble, the toil, the joy, the love, the heartache. Shakespeare's greatest legacy is teaching us what it is to be human. It dusts Shakespeare off from the closet and sticks a kit drum in front of it and lets it go. I have a play. Who are you? William Shakespeare. Never heard of you.